Hey guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends news. Today is the Captain Blue Balls event, or the hunt for the Captain Blue Balls treasure. This event's been announced a while ago. It's been pushed back, it's been delayed. Not sure about the reasons, but there was a lot of speculations. Today we have a little bit of extra information, not a lot but we finally have the rewards artwork to share. The first thing, event details. There's been speculation in the past that maybe the Captain Blue Balls event was gonna be tied to the addition of extra skill points in the game. But since the Captain Blue Balls event is starting next Monday and they confirm on the mad stream that the next update is not gonna be this week, I'm pretty sure we can rule out the possibility that Captain Blue Balls event will add more skill points into the game. So with that out of the way, I have a little extra. First of all, it's a PvE event that we already knew. We don't have the story behind it yet. They said the story will be revealed in the game. We still talk about Chain Quest. It's not confirmed, but it was announced previously when they first talked about Blue Balls. We only had one Chain Quest event so far. It was the Nitro event two events ago. So what is Chain Quest? It means you have a quest, you complete it, and then you come back for another quest. There was like three quests in the Nitro event. So it could or it could not be another Chain Quest event, although it was the first thing that was previously announced. Now we have a little bit of extra information today. It was revealed that in this event, we will be hunting hidden chests. Now hidden chest you can find pretty much everywhere. I know we have three hidden chests in Voltaic Fist Dungeon, three hidden chests in Blade Dancer, and more hidden chests in the Brothers of Fire Dungeon. Now I don't know if it's these chests we'll be hunting or if they will add extra chests into the game or in solo and co-op missions. So that's all we have for now. Not sure if it's gonna be chain quest, not sure exactly what chest we'll be hunting. Could be dungeon chest, could be other chest that has nothing to do with the dungeon chest and don't know if the arena chest will work. So we'll have to wait when the event start to see exactly what's going on. Now, no matter what, if it happens to be hidden chest in dungeons, just do a quick search on YouTube, type JHC loot in the search box, and you will find my two guides for all three secret chests in Blade Dancer and how to get them, and all three hidden chests in Voltaic Fist and how to get them. I will also link in the description and I'll probably make a quick guide this weekend on how to get the hidden chest and Brothers of Fire. Now let's look at the rewards. We already knew it was going to be three weapons, the Cutlass, the Corsair and the Kraken, but we did not have the artwork. So right now, confirm three weapons and a sticker. You can see the sticker right here is the Yar sticker. It's a pirate sticker. But here's the Cutlass PZ945. It's a reskin again. But you know these things are collectibles. Uh, red and white skin, pretty cool. Not sure about the glowing yellow. But if you guys like ARs, it's another AR. Always good to have these in the game. Then we have the Corsair Sniper. You know I love snipers. There's been two recent sniper editions in the game. The Meltdown Sniper from the Gold Arena Rewards. It's an epic, unique. And the Vampire's Kiss from the Halloween event. Two very good snipers recently added to the game. Blue Balls event, one more sniper for the collection. If you guys are sniper lovers, just cannot wait to see the stats. The last two snipers were not disappointing. Now about the looks of that one, nothing to say. It looks pretty sharp to me. Now the last one is the AT Kraken. It is a rocket launcher, yes baby. We don't have that many cool rocket launchers. This one looks very unique to me. Very, very nice artwork on that one. Still don't know if it's a multi rocket launcher or a normal rocket launcher. But once again, good job on that one. Looks pretty good. And that's it for the rewards for the upcoming event. Three weapons and a sticker. Once again, freaking amazing job on the artwork. I love snipers. Once again, uh, just cannot wait to see the stats. It's gonna be high damage or lower damage with high fire rate because the last two snipers were pretty good in damage with low fire rate. So maybe this one's gonna be similar, maybe it's gonna be different, cannot wait to see. So let me know in the comments what weapon are you gonna get. And that's all we have for now. Still in the dark for the event details. There's not a lot of information. We still have to wait and see what's gonna happen. But hey, all we know, hunting for hidden chests. We'll see Monday, I guess. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.